wouldn't mind a proud of Well, Bob, at summer's end, I plan to move to New York City, where I'll pursue a career as a serious actress. It's my goal to entertain the world through artistic expression. Through art, I shall serve my country. Miss Helen Shivers! <laughs> How's my hair? Hurricane proof. Hey, it's all about the hair. Don't you forget that. Especially when you become some big hotshot lawyer. Those professional women types think it's all about brains and ability and completely ignore the Duke. So, the, the Duke's vital. Got it. <laughs> hey, you riding with me? Uh, no, tell Mom I'll be home late. <gasps> to us. Hey, let's beam down to Dawson's Beach. Like a scratching sound. It's not a scratching sound. It's a drip. 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 No. It's been decapitated and it's the blood from his severed neck that's dripping on the car and it's going drip. 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 None of it really happened. It's a bullshit ghost story to begin with. Well, actually, honey, and... At that time, I will just be finishing my two-year contract on Guiding Light, coinciding with your first year. Can have Good. There must have been a dog or something. Jesus Christ, my fucking car breaking that my ass! That was an accident! Leave him alone! Where is it? No way. Oh my god. And I thought... No, there's no way! Shit! Ha <laughs> ha! What the hell was he doing out here? I'm drunk as shit. I'm fucked. No, we'll call the police. We'll tell them the truth. They'll believe us. Can we leave right now? We can clean it up. Come on. Listen to yourselves. No, we are going to the police. Yes. Don't you get it? If there's some of him on the car, there's some of the car on him. They're going to trace it back to you. You're looking at a hit and run. Then we dump the body. Blast it. But just pretend we were never here. We could drag him to the water and dump him in. Shit, they're slowing down! Let's do it. I don't want to No! Shut up! Just shut up! Christ already, I'll do it! Let's get out of here. We're going home now. Ellie! I'll never mention it again. We make a pact. Agreed. Yeah, okay. Frightening, isn't it? Julie? Wait, when did you get home? It's good to see you. I went for a while and didn't really work out. Somebody knows, Helen. How? Julie, we were so careful. Who? It's been a year. H has Barry seen this? Saw his car the other day at the gym. Did you guys break up? <sighs> Hi, Bear. You're a prick. We can't just ignore it. Water. Do we have to rehash this? It was an accident. The guy was in the middle of the road. His name was David E. Here. What are you gonna do? I know what I'm doing. I don't you anymore. What did you do? I took care of it, okay? I'll work on that one over there. On the end. That's nice. I gotta get back to work. Call me. We can get together. Yeah, okay. I don't know. Please don't do this. This isn't getting us anywhere. You. No, Barry's right. Who's ever doing this isn't going to the police. We could find this guy, talk to him. Well, it's got to be a friend or a family member of the guy we hit. What was his name? No, no, what I want is for you and me to just... Listen to me, Ray, okay? Ian. David. 
Yeah, or at least mention him if she pull up anything with his name. Wait, July 5th, two years ago. What's this? The driver, David Egan, was unharmed. I remember that wreck two summers ago. Wait a second. I remember he had her name tattooed on his arm. I saw it. They live in the sticks. What do you think? Back there. What exactly is the plan? I mean, we're just gonna ring the doorbell and say we killed your son and we're in the neighborhood, so... Don't you think we should have some sort of a plan? Angela Lansbury always had a plan. You know, Jody Foster tried this in a skin... Well, it was a good try. I think breaking and entering to our crime spree? Can I help you? Oh, um... Hi. <laughs> uh, our car stalled down the... You got it. It's Angela. <gasps> Your name... They're on their way. Thanks. Didn't he hang out with this guy? I mean, they were really close. God, what was his name? Um, oh. Where's his old friend now? Well, you know what? Um, I, I don't, I don't want to miss AAA. We appreciate the phone. But B. It was an accident. Ew. I don't think we're that powerful, Julie. You're giving us way too much. So what now? Maybe he wanted to die. What? David Egan. His girlfriend was killed on that same road July 4th one year earlier. Maybe he blamed himself. Maybe he was sitting in the road waiting for us to hit him. What happened between us? We used to be best friends. I miss you. One to nothing here in the third. Jared taking his time. Strike one. Wicked cut. Now, Neil seemed to be really badly pulled by that pitch. In fact, the addition of a split finger pass to that pitch. Back in the top ten for strikeouts again. Right you are, Dave. That's going to count at two and two. Four hitting two seconds. Jared, settle yourself. Looking into the side. Is the washed up, dried out has been having a moment? What do you want? I put me in charge of the store and I want you there by 10. The outgoing queen has to ride in the parade prior to the pageant. It's tradition, there's nothing I can do about it. You and your hair. Just so pathetic. You can leave now. So very pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> 
back to the house. It's not now. He's made sure of that. He's just out there. The act. You killed Max. Together, all right? Missy said there was a friend named Billy Blue, who probably went to school with David Egan. It's of 92. Elsa was class of 92. Maybe there's something in her yearbook. Yeah, his face isn't splattered all over the world, dumbass. Maybe Blue's not his real name. Wait, we should bring the yearbook to Missy. If she had it in front of her. I'll go. You've got that parade today. Hurry up. I don't want him to show up. I'll go to Missy's. Barry, you go to the parade with Helen and don't let her out of your sight. If he shows up... I'll pound his ass. Listen to yourselves! <laughs> I saw it. It was a big, huge hook. Everything's gonna be all right. I'm not gonna let anything go. Of all the lives, Why don't you let me take you home, okay? Uh, excuse me. Uh, we'll be needing this. No, we used scissors, asshole. Look, okay, I know I sound delusional, but it's true. You know, I've had a mental patient had a hook for a hand. Look, you little shit stick Mayberry ass reject. There's been a murder, and you're gonna fry in hell if you ignore it. All right, I'll tell you what I'll do, okay? I'll contact Ben. Listen, I'm just gonna be a minute, all right? That's him! That's him! Behind you! Elsa? Elsa? 